We are in Claremont, Florida, right outside of Orlando. We have a group of friends with us and we have this amazing vacation home. So, little details about this place. It sleeps 46 people. Yes, 46 people. But you don't need 46 people to stay here. If you have 20 to 30 friends, break down the cost. It comes out to about $70 per person per night for a three night stay. So you can get a place like this for an affordable price when you have a big group. If you have a big group of friends and family, you need places to entertain, right? This house has three kitchens, yes, three kitchens, a theater room, a game room, a dining room, multiple bedrooms, bathrooms, and outside. So we're gonna take you a tour around this house, and then we're gonna show you what it's like to live here with our friends for the next couple of days. Starting off, this is the gourmet kitchen. This thing is massive. It's got a surface cooktop, it's got ovens, it's got three refrigerators, so you can have all your food and all your beverages nice and cold. This is the theater room right here. It will seat nine and also sleep a couple. That's a pull-out sofa. But this is really cool because we can watch movies on here and it's set up for karaoke. A lot of these rooms have theming on them. And this is the first one we're gonna show you. The dining room has an African safari theme. This table came from Africa. It was hand carved in Africa and shipped over to the US and now sits in this dining room. Off the main living area is the game room. This place is massive. It's got old school arcade games. It's got projection games. It has a pool table. It even has its own living space with a sofa that makes onto a bed so you can sleep two people in here. It's got its own kitchen and dining table. And it's nice and cool in here. And that's a game closet full of board games and books and all kinds of stuff. Okay, let's get into the bedrooms and bathrooms of this house now. There are seven bedrooms downstairs, three bedrooms upstairs. They are all extremely themed. We are in what I'm gonna call the Mac Daddy Suite right here. This is the ski alpine themed room. Massive bed, all the walls are painted with a snowy ski theme. One wall even snows. Yes, it's got a ski machine in it. Absolutely beautiful room and it's got a massive bathroom attached. Right off the foyer as soon as you enter the house, take a left and you come into the Kentucky Derby room. This room has a bed like I've never seen before. This is a Texas size king bed. Right off the game room is the football themed room. Beyond the kitchen and dining room, there's an entire another wing of the house. Over here, there are four bedrooms, two bathrooms, a separate entrance, its own kitchen and dining room and a laundry room if you feel like you need to wash some clothes. There is the baseball room that sleeps six. There are two sets of triple bunk beds in here. There's the golf room where the bed is actually made out of a golf cart and there is a full functioning golf simulator in here. The boxing room is probably my favorite themed room in this house because of the paint job. This was a custom painted completely around the room. The faces, it looks like a picture, not a painting. It's absolutely fabulous. And we have the gym room. This is a bedroom, but it is an actual gym as well. The bed will fold up. It is a Murphy bed, so you have more room to work out and exercise. There are weights in here, and there's even a virtual mirror for working out. Let's go upstairs now. There's three more bedrooms up here and the staircase is right by the front door. All sports upstairs. So we are in the hockey room right now. Super great theming in all three of these rooms, but this, the floor is even made out just like a hockey rink. The NASCAR room sleeps three in beds that are shaped like cars. And you think these are kids' beds and probably kids are gonna sleep in them, but they're six foot long, so an adult could if they wanted to. The hockey room has an attached bathroom and the NASCAR room shares a Jack and Jill bath with what we're about to see next, the basketball room. The basketball room sleeps four and even has a basketball arcade game in here. So the boys could really play all night long up here.
And if you're staying here and don't feel like cooking, you can get a chef come in and do all your meals for you. We're hanging out with our friends. We had an awesome dinner. We've got some music on the TV slash karaoke just for background. We're playing video games, playing pool, just hanging out. This is a really good space to just vibe with your friends. It's later at night. It's time for karaoke and Jason and I have made our very first charcuterie board. There is no board here so we made it on a platter but I think it came out pretty good. Miles and I would walk 500 more long barrels to the oasis. So I got friends. There are boats that you can use included with your rental. There is a big pontoon boat if you have a lot of friends with you. There are two little two-seater motorized boats, which is that's what's caught our attention, and there's kayaks. But those little small boats look like so much fun. And we're on a dock. Yeah. Look at this. this. So it's a quarter mile walk from the yard down through the Florida swamps, absolutely beautiful, to this dock. And you get here and there's cypress trees and it's moss hanging from them. And this is like what Florida feels like right here. Okay, this I'm excited about. We get to go run around in that little boat. And uh, Mr. Dave said, I'm giving you the fast one. Wouldn't that be the coolest thing ever if you caught a fish immediately? I got a one. fish! It's so big my little reel wouldn't reel it up. <laughs> Alright, why wouldn't it reel it up? Let's see here. Let's step on it for a minute. Tangled. What's the deal here? Come on now. There we go. It's struggling! Little brim. Alright. Well, so far, the only luck I'm having is between these two cypress trees right here. Right here, just like Mr. Dave said. And uh, there are a bunch of little ones. Not even hand size. The first one was a hand size, but a bunch of little ones. I've been casting out. I'm not really hitting anything. I'm just using earthworms because that's what I have. Oh, got a bite. Got a bite. Oh, ah. Oh. It got away. Oh, it got away. See, those little ones are really hard to catch. I think I'm about to change bait, cast out a little further. But I just, oh, that little sucker, he's playing games with me. <laughs> oh, what is he doing? Eating your worm. He is, he is slick, slick. My hook is showing. We do not want our hook to show. They will not bite it with the hook showing. Hide your hook. Put it back in. Let's see if we can get him. Oh, he got my bait. He's a slick one. But how about these trees? How about this Lake Louisa? I mean, this is pretty amazing. So it's a quarter mile walk uh, down this boardwalk to get to the dock from the house. And this is what you see. Can you imagine living this way? It's beautiful. You can come vacation this way, you know. This house sleeps, I think, what, 40, 46? 46. Yeah, pretty cool. This is where I'd be. <laughs> I'd leave all the kids back there. Or actually, I'd bring them out here. We'd go boat riding and fishing. So it's really a, a great vacation for somebody who, who's outdoorsy type, who's indoorsy type. You got tons of games and stuff for the kids. You got outdoor activities, all kinds of sports games, swimming pools, the boats, lake, fishing. I mean, it's everything you need, you know? This is, this is a great spot to come uh, for vacation, for sure. We are now in the guest house. So back behind the house, behind the pool is a guest house. 
in here is a bowling themed, glow in the dark, black light kind of room. So there is ski ball in here, there's electronic bowling, there is a bed that sleeps two in this room, and a bunkhouse that sleeps six next door with a bathroom. But man, the theming in here, and I'm a sucker for ski ball. My high score today, 31,000. There is as much to do outside as there is inside. In this sports court out here, we have volleyball, we have table tennis, we have axe throwing, inflatable basketball connect four game. This is soccer, pool, there's shuffleboard, there's pickleball, there's a putting green, all right here, and throughout the grounds there is frisbee golf. I know it has an official name, but I'm calling it frisbee golf. Disc golf, that's what it is, it's disc golf. So, all out here on the grounds, lots of activities to do. Lots of fun, lots of fun. So we've got our friends here, we're gonna play a few games. Yes indeed. This swimming pool is one of the highlights of this property. The swimming pool is massive. It is actually what's considered a sports pool. So it's shallow on both ends and gets deeper in the middle. So if you wanted to play uh, like swimming pool volleyball or anything like that, you can. There's seating all around. And in the back back there, there's a full kitchen and a full bathroom. It's completely covered to keep all the bugs out. And we had decided that we were about to have dinner and then we are gonna have ourselves a little pool party out here. And there's karaoke and a TV. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's karaoke and a TV back there. So I mean like you can totally just vibe out here all night long. And you're protected with from mosquitoes. No bugs. <laughs> So we want to officially introduce our friends that are here with us because they're not just our friends. If you are not aware, I am also a travel agent and these are fellow travel agents that work with me. So let's get to know them. Hi everyone, I'm Sarah. I live in California and I've been working with Elisa for about three years now. I love travel. I love to take land tours all over Europe. Uh, I do a lot of my own travel just by myself, train travel, I love cruising. My favorites to book and help you guys book are cruises. Hawaii is a passion of mine. I love all of the islands. And I also do all inclusives. So we hope to hear from you soon if you need help booking your vacation. Hi, I'm Madeline. I live in Huntsville, Alabama. Um, I've been a travel agent for about three years now. My favorite travel destinations are Europe. Scotland's my favorite country of all time. Um, I also love to go to Disney and Universal. Um, I'm a Disney annual pass holder. I go about once a month. <laughs> um, so certified Disney adult. I specialize in for the team. I specialize in Europe and theme parks especially. Um, those are my two specialties here with EECC team. Um, and I would love to help you have the most magical vacation. Hello everyone, my name is Amy Gambrell and I live in Southeast Kentucky. On the weekends, my husband and I like to ride side by sides out in the mountains of Kentucky and it is beautiful there, very beautiful area. So I am one of the newer members of EECC Travels and I specialize in your theme park vacations, cruises, and I love to plan USA road trips. So I would love it if you would contact me to help you plan your next trip. Hi guys, I'm Sarah with No H. Um, I've been with EECC for a year now. I really enjoy planning all-inclusive vacations all over the Caribbean, especially Mexico, and cruising. I would love to help you plan your trip, so give us a shout out and we will get you to where you wanna go. My name is Lori and I'm from Arizona and I've been a travel agent since 2019 and um, I specialize in cruises, all-inclusives, and some Vegas. We have thoroughly enjoyed staying in this vacation home. We were here for two nights. I think three nights would be the perfect amount or longer if you have it, because there's so much to do here. We like, we're like, oh, we still want to do this and we still want to do that. So one more day would have been perfect. 
If you want more information about the Chateau, the website is right here. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, and we'll see you next time. Bye.